Hi, welcome to today's video. So today's video is all about lip products. And I realized that this whole like chunk of the first half of the year, I've tried quite a few different lip products. So I thought I would just sort of consolidate all of that together into one video. And this video is basically talking about all the products that I tried in the last six months, all the different formulas of lip products, different price points and different finishes that I've been testing out the last six months. Some of them are, I think, I think most of them are actually new releases and some of them have probably been in the market for a bit, but you know, it's the first time that I was trying them out. So yeah, so let's first get started with uh, lip oils. Now, lip oils, I've not really been much of a lip oil person. I've always preferred a lip balm over a lip oil. Um, generally, not really into glosses either. So. Yeah, so because of that, I never really paid attention to lip oils when they became like something which everybody was talking about and trying out. Um, but yeah, eventually, I think maybe two years ago, I did cave in and finally bought the House Labs lip oil, which was uh, talked about quite a lot. And that is the PhD hybrid lip oil in the shade tint. So this is the one in the old packaging. And this was when Lady Gaga was selling her line on Amazon. So this was the only lip oil that I had in my collection till recently I tried two other lip oils and both of them are actually new releases. This is like a new shade they have released in the Dior line, the Dior Lip Glow Oil line and the other one is from Pericon MD. So I think I'll first start talking about the Pericon MD and like I was saying this is kind of my favorite lip oil so I've sort of put this as like my benchmark when it comes to assessing other lip, pro lip oil products that I've tried. Um, this one, basically I love it because it is super lightweight on the lips. It just just about like coats your lips. It does not feel heavy on your lips. It also is not sticky, which is extremely important to me. So I really love that about it. It's not sticky and eventually when it sort of dries down, that the oil part kind of, you know, once it wears off a bit, it, you, you are left behind with a nice beautiful tint on your lips. So I really like all things about this lip oil so this is kind of like my gold standard against which i assess everything else this is also i believe it doesn't have much of a fragrance i don't know my lip oil is actually now almost two years old yeah it doesn't really have much of a fragrance and i don't remember it ever having much of a fragrance so yeah i also like that it's not heavily scented um and yeah and it's going strong although it's almost two years old now <laughs> And so yeah, so recently one of the lip oils that I tried is from Pericon MD. I think this is a new release and this is part of their no makeup makeup line. So this is the no makeup makeup lip oil. I think that's the actual full name of it. And I have this in the shade Pomegranate. Now the shade is very beautiful here in the packaging, but however on, you know, on the lips, I feel it's not does not have much pigment so if you like lip oils where you know there's a barely there hint of color this is probably the kind of lip oil that you might enjoy but my prime uh, issue with this particular lip oil is the fact that it's very sticky I find it sticky and I also find it to be a little bit heavy on the lips so it almost feels like a lip gloss to me compared to the house labs one which is kind of my favorite so for that reason, I was not super impressed with this one. This one, I mean, it's okay. I would probably land up using this more as a lip gloss versus a lip oil simply because like I said, the formula is very thick and goopy and sticky and kind of reminds me of a gloss. So here you can see actually it has a bit of a tint, um, but I feel like the House Labs has a better tint and this is just, you know, the formula is not really my favorite. So even if, you know, the tint was there, I don't think I would still enjoy this as much as the House Labs one. Um, yeah, it does come in a variety of different shades. If I remember right, I think there are at least four other shades uh, of this lip oil. And most of them are slightly more muted than this one. I think this is probably the, you know, the brightest shade in the line. So yeah, that one was not really my cup of tea. Now another lip oil which I basically just got to try out, actually this one was sent to me I think by um, Biz Agent which is kind of like a sampling program and this one was sent to me by Influencer. So both of these I did not purchase simply because I'm very happy with the lip oil that I have and I'm not really that into lip oils and um, so but at the same time I'm very happy to have tried these. Now this one the Lip Glow Oil from Dior, the Color Reviver Cherry Oil, now this one 
is kind of what I think started the whole craze for lip oils um, and I don't know I was not very impressed with this one I found this to be quite sticky and again it's you know it looks very vivid in here this is like the shade uh, what's it called again the shade number is wait a minute I think I have the box it's something coral it's called poppy coral and this is basically a new release from them a new shade that they've released poppy coral looks really beautiful here in the packaging I mean in the container but this color just does not translate onto your lips it does go on pretty sheer and yeah again the same issue I have with the Pericone MD this is also a little sticky and it's just not it's not much fun to use because of the stickiness so yeah like I was saying so this is basically poppy coral and uh, this is the Pericone MD uh, pomegranate and as you can see the pomegranate one is a little bit more pigmented than than the poppy coral now my biggest issue with this one is that it's sticky but otherwise the formula as such this one feels much more lighter than the Pericone MD I like the fact that it feels lightweight on the lips and it is quite similar in texture to the house labs in that way in the sense that it's pretty light on the lips I also like the minty flavor that this one has this one also smells really nice actually this one has more of a I don't know it's got a more vanilla sweet candy kind of uh, um, scent which is very mild and pleasant so the scents are okay what I don't like for both of these is the fact that they're sticky and compared to the house labs one so that's basically my primary issue with these um, and the poppy coral I actually don't know if you know it really matters what shade you buy of this one because this is pretty vivid here in the container but as you can see it swatches pretty much transparent or clear so I mean I don't get it I don't understand why people are so crazy about this and why people buy multiple shades of this because it pretty much looks the same uh, I think I've seen swatches of the other shades and they look pretty much the same they're all translucent clear shades so yeah I don't quite get the hype of these and these are pretty expensive they're like $45 or $42 a piece which is quite up there in price so I'm pretty happy that I got this to try from Influencer and I didn't actually buy it but would I buy it with my own money? No. <laughs> would I buy this one with my own money? No. The only thing I would probably buy again is the House Labs one. So yeah, so that's my thing with the lip oils that I've tried. Um, now the other product is a lip balm. And this one actually I picked it up I think in December but I eventually used it sometime in like January, February. So I thought I would include it here. This is a K-Beauty brand uh, called Rom and And. Uh, and this is their lip Glasting, Glasting Melting Balm. That's what it's called. And I have this in the shade 06 Kaya Fig. Now, this one is very similar to those Maracuja um, lip balm, lip tints that uh, Tarte has released and which are kind of viral. Um, and I feel like this one is very similar in texture as well as, you know, the way the formula is. And they're extremely soft and therefore you got to have, you have to basically twist it. And once you twist it up, it does not go down so you have to use it up because it's pretty soft and won't stay up and I really enjoy these um, this is actually pretty fun to use but I do not particularly like the stickiness that this one has again I just realized that I have a major issue with lip products feeling sticky and this one also feels pretty sticky on my lips and therefore not the biggest fan of the formula i do like how it looks on my lips it gives you just the right hint of color it gives you a nice shine it feels like a balm glossy you know lip balm in a stick kind of a formula it's very nice it's very comfortable on the lips too and it's pretty moisturizing so i do enjoy this particular product in those aspects what i don't like is that it does have a tendency to be sticky and again the stickiness sometimes i find that it does sort of um get better as the day goes by which is kind of weird but yeah I've noticed that it's very sticky when you first apply it and then it sort of dies down either because maybe the product just wipes off a little bit wipes off and therefore becomes less sticky or I just I have no idea but yeah but the initial stickiness is something which I still am not super happy to you know go through with but uh, yeah otherwise I really like the actual formula of the product and how nice it looks on the lips and how it gives that very nice shine on the lips so it is actually kind of like a nice 
balm product um, however between this and the other balm product which i've already been using for a while i much prefer the one that i've been using for a while which is from wake make which is also another k beauty brand and this is called the wake make vitamin watery talk tinted lip balm now this one is extremely shiny on the lips like a balm and it also has quite a lot of pigment i love how it leaves behind a nice tint it's not sticky it's again very comfortable on the lips you almost feel like you're not wearing anything but at the same time your lips look nice and juicy and healthy and also it has you know a, a decent amount of shine maybe not as shiny as this but it still has a very good amount of shine on the lips so i really like this one so if i were to repurchase another you know tinted lip balm type product i would definitely go and buy the wake make one and not this uh the blasting melting balm which again i think a lot of people have caught on to these and they it's kind of gone kind of viral people love these i personally don't like them because i find them to be a little bit sticky i much prefer the wake make one now in terms of some high-end lipsticks that i tried i did try the bobby brown Lux lipstick line and I tried it from the uh, winter or the Christmas collection that they had so it comes in special packaging but the actual shade is part of the permanent line so I have this in the shade afternoon tea and this is like a creamy lipstick um, I have to say that this the formula is nice but I don't think it is worth the price tag it's a pretty expensive lipstick in my opinion and usually bobby brown lipsticks are very impressive this one is just okay i'm actually wearing afternoon tea on my lips today this is the shade afternoon tea it's a nice warm peachy orangey pink and it's kind of nice to wear i think this time of the year summer spring summer it's perfect the color but i the formula is not super impressive like i feel you can get like a better formula from revlon uh, at the drugstore and this lipstick the reason why I mentioned the drugstore is because this lipstick even smells like drugstore lipstick. There is something about the scent that reminds me of like drugstore lipsticks for some reason. I don't know. There's some strange scent. It's not um, it's not a scented product, but you know, the actual lipstick smell itself smells like a drugstore product for some reason. It has a slight, I don't know, that smell. I don't know. I, I can't even explain it. It's the smell that reminds me of drugstore lipsticks and which kind of makes me feel like it's probably not worth the money so that and I also the formula although it's supposed to be like a luxe cream formula it doesn't particularly feel more creamy than another average drugstore product to me there's nothing special about the formula it doesn't warrant that high price tag maybe the packaging was nice but other than that no I don't think so so yeah, so this one was, I mean, I've grown to like the actual shade initially. I was not very happy with the shade either. So that's grown on me, but the formula is just okay. Now, since I have it, I'll probably use it, but I probably won't repurchase another lipstick in that shade. Now, the next product is also another high-end one, and this is from YSL. This is the YSL Rouge Pour Couture, the bold lipstick, and I have this in the shade number 16. I don't know actually if it has a name it was something rosewood if i remember right but the shade number is 16 and this was also like a new release for a couple of months ago where they kind of expanded the shade range and this is one of the newer shades that they released um now this one i personally again find the packaging this one the packaging feels a bit more luxurious than the ysl one so yeah, I can kind of say, okay, I'm paying the money for the packaging. This one, the packaging is just like drugstore lipstick. It's so cheap. It feels so lightweight. The cap is just really cheap plastic. I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. I remember YSL lipsticks from years ago where it felt super luxe, super heavy in your hands. And this is kind of like a total downgrade from that. So very disappointed in that now the actual lipstick itself um i don't like the scent it has a funny synthetic fruity kind of a scent which reminds me of essence lipsticks again it reminds me of another <laughs> drugstore lipstick unfortunately the actual formula it's pretty creamy and it's comfortable and initially again i did not like the shade and i did not like the formula so much but again what i noticed was um, 
when I first got this lipstick, I was just going like a single swipe. I assumed because it's called the the bold lipstick, I assumed it would basically give you like amazing uh, pigment pigment on your lips with just a single swipe. But what I noticed was with this particular shade, it looks really pretty when you build it up. So once I started doing that, I feel like the lipstick looked much better on me and the color looked better on me as well as the actual formula also was like it felt more creamy if I went like two, three times over my lips versus just once. I don't know, but that's basically my user experience with the product. Um, yeah, so finally the shade and the formula has kind of grown on me, but again, I don't like the scent of this. So the scent and also I don't like the packaging. So again, I don't see myself purchasing another one of these simply because I feel the packaging, it doesn't feel luxury and the, the product is okay and I, I don't like the scent. I much prefer the drugstore lipstick scent from Bobbi Brown. So yeah, so those were the high-end lipsticks that I've tried. In fact, I feel like almost everything I'm talking about is kind of like a negative. Um, so finally, let's talk about some positives and you'd be surprised and I was also very surprised that I actually really, really liked this lipstick from Makeup Revolution. This is the Makeup Revolution uh what's it actually called it's their new matte creamy matte lipstick i think that's what it's called so it's basically in this packaging and to be honest this has it's got it's more weighted than this one so that kind of explains how cheap this plastic packaging really is so this one i have this in the shade uh wifey dusty pink it's a very nice creamy matte lipstick in the sense, I think it has quite a bit of silicone, so it glides onto your lips really nicely and it doesn't emphasize any fine lines. So for the price, I think it's less than $10 or somewhere around the $10 mark. I think it's a really nice product. Overall, I really enjoy the formula. It's also not scented, so that's another plus um, in my book. And overall, I really liked how creamy and how just effortless it was to use the product. And also, I found that this one, this particular shade, it does last fairly a, a fairly long time, probably because it's a matte formula, but being a creamy matte, I didn't really expect it to last long, but it did. So I'm pretty happy about that as well. So yeah, I really like this particular lipstick from Makeup Revolution. And another Makeup Revolution lipstick, which also I really liked was from their Willy Wonka collection, which is a limited edition collection. So I'm not sure if it's still available. Um, this one, I actually like the formula of this much more than even this one. This is probably my favorite lip product that I tried this whole, you know, first half of the year, which is very surprising to me um, and shocking to me as well, because I actually bought this on a discount and this has a nice chocolate scent, which is not very strong. It's pretty mild. So that's another thing that I like. The packaging is a bit more cheaper than the other revolution lipstick this one is a little bit more of a cheapy plastic but that's okay the actual product is very nice again it's a very creamy this is more of a satin finish versus matte it's a creamy satin uh, lipstick which looks really beautiful on the lips again it does not emphasize any fine lines it also is pretty um you know it kind of gives a very nice rich color on the lips this particular shade looks very nice with my skin tone so i have a particularly a strong affinity towards this one because of that this one overall really impressed me and i really really like this lipstick from makeup revolution now the last product that i want to talk about is from hard candy and this is also a limited edition product that i tried from them this is the hard candy girl scouts uh lip velvety smooth lip marker that's what it's called now this one was a limited edition collection that came out maybe two months ago, but I recently found these products at my Walmart, like it's still fully stocked. So if you are lucky, you might be able to track these down at your Walmart even now. I think they still have the collection out. It's not fully been phased out yet. Um, I actually like this particular lip marker. The formula is pretty nice. The only issue is that you might need to use like a lip liner because it does slip and slide quite a bit on your lips. So I have like the lightest shade, I believe. They have one more, which is like a medium shade. And then they have one, which is a darker shade. Now the lightest shade is called Trefoils and that's the one I have. And this is how it's packaged. I kind of think it's very cute. It's very 
um, creamy and the formula is not bad like I said you need to use a lip liner otherwise it's probably going to slip and slide a bit outside your lip lines because of how creamy it is the only small downside that I have with this is that if I wear this for like maybe like throughout the whole day sometimes I notice that it does collect because of how creamy it is it does tend to collect in my lip lines so making them look a little bit more prominent so that kind of is a bit of a bummer because usually creamy lip products don't do that to my lips they kind of um, sort of smooth out the lip lines a little bit and you know don't really make them noticeable i have issues with lip lines showing more when i use matte lipsticks but in this case i feel like it's so creamy that the extra creaminess or something makes the product collect in the fine lines of my lips so yeah so that's kind of a bummer but again i think if you go in first with a lip liner even like filling up your entire lip with a lip liner and then go with this one it works really fine so i kind of towards the end of when i was using this product i think maybe two months back i tried that out and it worked really well so yeah once i did that i really liked i much enjoyed using this product and i really like the final look as well and you can play around with different lip liners to ch sort of change the shade up a bit so that was fun the formula again if you have really nice lips without much lip lines you can obviously go in directly with it and i think you should be fine but again it is pretty um creamy so you might still need like a lip line to outline your lips so that it doesn't spread outside the lip lines but yeah overall i sort of enjoyed this one but i much prefer um, a little less creamier product for my lips so <laughs> Anyway, so those, those are basically all the lip products that I tried recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm a bit rushed because I have to be somewhere soon. So I will catch you again in another one. Bye.